one I'd love, uh, Lem, if you could share why you wanted to make this show and maybe two or three characters you'll be highlighting in the work. Yeah, so I had my fair share of touring and I've had my fair share of commercial work and I kind of wanted to meet it halfway, right? I wanted to be able to put on a show that I could take on the road and really touch the communities who don't have access to the commercial stages of New York, which is where I come from and I've been a part of. Uh, I, I feel that the biggest impact I've ever really made with the work was in the classroom with young people and with a high level of integrity in front of them, right? So this is not an outreach, but more of a reach out from the, the level that I like to play poetry, right? I think I, I like to put the mirror in front of the audience. And I found that going on the road allowed me to do that. I also discovered a lot of the stories that are in this show from being on the road and being able to tell those stories to those communities for them and by them uh, seems like the right thing to do. And so we're playing at a high level here with these, with these poems in front of these students on these stages in their classrooms uh, and really strong themes behind them uh, that revolve around the Latinx identity crisis in America. Yeah, absolutely, thank you for sharing that. And at least being a collaborator with Lemon for, for years now, how is this development similar to County of Kings? Um, and how is it different? <laughs> Similar in that it's the uh, same amazing lemon and um, incredible poetry. Uh, County of Kings was a deeply personal piece, uh, tracking his own story. And it's beautiful to see the generosity of spirit with which we're creating, lemons creating characters um, from all across the country. So it is not a single narrative of his own life, but the lives of others. And um, really beautiful in that, that respect. Um, and using the same character-driven poetry and narratives, uh, but to encompass a mosaic of, uh, of Latinx characters, identities. Um, Languages, voices, rhythms, yeah. stuff, you know, it's going to be a lot of fun. I think, yeah, it's been great working with Elise uh, for the last 14 years. You know, this is such an, an amazing relationship and, you know, development is important when, you know, you need vulnerability in the room. So it's been very special to grow and glow with such a great partner. I, I love that you said that. And I feel like I felt that very viscerally in this process and, you know, as we are approaching the premiere and actually getting to share this out with a live audience so soon and communities that I think this could really speak to, what, what would you want the audience to walk away with? How do you want them to feel? And, and maybe it's different for both of you or, or related, but I'd love to hear about that. I, I'm always chasing the unexpected. I think that's great drama to me, right? It's um, the unexpected level of performance, um, the unexpected um, mirror, uh, a reflection to see themselves. Again, I toured and I visit a lot of, you know, I visited a lot of these communities far away from the theater, right? You know, we go on the road as artists, all of us can relate to this. And we're, we end up in these classrooms or we end up in these community centers. And what is it like to, to let them hear themselves for the first time? So that's unexpected. Um, and so that's the goal, it's the unexpectation of seeing themselves for the first time in performance art and poetry. 